it's Joe. So happy Vita the 20th y'all. I'm not even going to start making excuses as to why I'm skipping days. That's just the way it is. <laughs> I'm sure you understand. This is another Just Feel Festive shawl that I did by Kalisha with Quirky Monday. Um, and our girl Z with Zelda NRJ3 did a, um, a tutorial explaining how to do the, um, how to do the pattern. And once you got it, you got it. It's just kind of tricky with the way you do the ends. Anyway, so once you got it, you got it. This was the other one I did. Our, I showed y'all already with the, um, the, um, yarn B, um, Oh, I really got it together, don't I? <laughs> Yarn B Rainbow Rhapsody. I think it was Sunshine something or another colorway. Anyway, so this one was just more like a gradient from the golden yellows to the ivory. And it's very, um, I can't say enough about this yarn. I've got to go get some more of it. It's very drapey and soft and um, scrumptiously soft. Now this one, on the other hand, let me open it up, see if I can show y'all like this, all the striping and stuff. Why don't I do this so I can see what I'm doing? <laughs> so you can see it's got the bl yellow, blue, purple, orange colorways, and almost a gray. Yeah, yeah, there's some gray in here. Um, it does look lavender, kind of lavenderish gray, but yeah, so that's the other one I did. This was done in the shawl and the ball. Um, maybe I'll put it on this way this time. Shawl and the ball. Let's see what the colorway was. Reflective crystal. So there's the colors and the lion brand shawl and the ball. This was two skeins. I did two skeins, um, and I I made it bigger, like the wider part. Like this one is very, um, almost like a very sweet little wrap or even a scarf, right? This one's more like a shawl because it's um, it, it has more coverage. Let's do this so you can see. So it's got more coverage, and I really like it. I don't. I was kind of like meh about it at first, you know. I was like, mm, I don't know about these colors. It's kind of meh. Um, but that's only because it's out of my comfort zone. And but it it's growing on me. I kind of like it. So it's very springy and summery, and it'll be great to bring into like restaurants. Why did I even say that? Because we can't even go out to eat right now. <sighs> That's another thing. We, lo we love to go out to eat around here. <laughs> but um, it's great, you know, I'll be able to use it, you know, in outdoors or indoors even because I freeze in the air condition. All these guys around here get so hot and they freeze me out. Um, yeah, so I really like it. And thank you so much, Kalisha, Kalisha for the... Um, the pattern and Z for the tutorial and um, who knows there may be another one in my future <laughs> you know how I get hooked on things so I made a little progress on my frog from Pika Pal yesterday and um, there's something really special about this frog and I don't want to show y'all until I'm done so I'm not going to show you the whole thing but I'm going to show you this part and um, so that's his eyes and his head and body right here so far and <laughs> it's gonna be so funny anyway I don't want to show you the rest of it um, but we'll see what the progress is by tomorrow so happy Vita the, the I forgot the day the 22nd y'all <laughs> happy Vita the 22nd I just have um a whip to show y'all. It's been a while since I showed you this one, I think. It is my Karen Latte Cake Throw Blanket that I'm doing um, with the Tunisian Knit Stitch. This is my Ginger um, Tunisian 
hook with the um, with the cords, the ginger set, uh, Knitter's Pride. I was just trying to think of what it was. And this is an N slash 15. I'm not sure what the millimeters are for that, but it's an N hook. And I'm just doing a simple um, knit stitch with the um, Latte Cakes, Karen Latte Cakes in the Pepper Ash colorway. So the grays and the whites. And so far I have three cakes done and I was thinking about stopping, but let's see, this is how wide it is. I should have measured this, but I'm gonna have, I'll, I'll measure it when I'm done. That's how wide it is. And it's this long. Mm. Okay, so this is the other side. It's all scrunched up on my cord here. But, I don't know, I have one more cake. Oh, look, I remembered to put a marker in. So this was one whole cake. This is how much I get with one cake. So if I make it that much more wider, it'll probably be more like a square than a rectangle. So I'm thinking I'm gonna add on one more cake just to make it big and voluptuous, voluptuous and scrumptious. <laughs> to make it, it's just, y'all feel that. Reach out and touch it. Oh, I love this latte cake. I just hope that um, it holds up well and like wash and you know, I hope it's like holds up well and has good wear and tear. So if I add on this one more latte cake, I'll probably get a nice big square throw wrap thingy and just snuggle all up in it come winter time or, or when the guys freeze me out in the AC. And also just to let y'all know that um, if you do Tunisian crochet or you wanna learn, it's really, really simple. If you know how to crochet, you can Tunisian crochet like that. So, um, but I wanted to let y'all know that Ron Strong is putting out a Tunisian crochet cow. Yay, a Tunisian crochet crochet along. And I'm so excited for it. Although I really, not a big fan of blankets, but it's like a baby, it's a, it's a Tunisian crochet sampler. So it's gonna be like a baby blanket size. So I think that'll be manageable for me and my little squirrely brain. But I think it's like, I don't know if it's not, I think it's nine, I don't think it's 12. I'll put the link down below, but I think it's nine different squares he's going to have um, in his blanket where he's, you know, he's going to teach you how to do it once a week or something like that. So I'm looking so forward to that because um, it's Tunisian, y'all. It's a lot of fun. So y'all, like a week or so ago, our dear sweet friend Petra from Petra's Happy Place contacted me because she, she knew that I had... Um, um, yarns, uh, yarn B Rainbow Rhapsody, and she was wanting to know if I had it in the colorway Gerber Daisy, I think that's what it's called, um, which was like some pastel, I would, I would show you, but it's in the mail now. <laughs> um, she wanted to know if I had that particular colorway. She was looking for a cake or two, wanted to know if I wanted to do a yarn exchange. I'm like, sure, I had two of them. So um, I packaged up uh, a package for her and uh, finally got to the mail yesterday. But I also received her package yesterday. So I'm sorry, Petra, you'll get yours Friday. <laughs> but um, it was just the, the day that I went out. I didn't go out of the house until yesterday. So you know how it is nowadays. Um, so she sent me the exchange package. So I want to show y'all that. And the reason why I'm holding this up is because she knows I love Rainbow Rhapsody too. And she sent me this one, which I absolutely love. I think teal, teals might be like my favorite color, but I also love pinks and I don't know. I just love all the colors. So, um, I think y'all know already this is a size one. It's a 60 cotton 40 acrylic. And it's what I made my first uh, Kalisha Just Feel Festive fall. Just Feel Festive shawl out of this one that has a tremendous amount of scrumptious drape. 
So um, I love this colorway. So thank you, Petra. I'm going to add that to my collection back over here. And um, oh, another reason why she was asking me that, y'all, is because it's sold out online and Hobby Lobby's closed probably till May. But who knows when the stores are really going to reopen. I kind of hope they open in May. <laughs> But she also, she sent me that, and she also sent me a few more. So let me show you these amazing lace. Have y'all seen these? It's line, made by Line Brand, amazing lace. This is a medallion magenta colorway. I have some up here, and I was, I had just have like a blue and a purple and a white. Um, I was so excited to get this because my Joann's did not have this color. So, yay, now I can add that. Now I've got blue, pink, white, purple. Well, I can make something really pretty. But, y'all, this really makes, this is over a 1,000 yards, a 1,017 yards. You really only need one of these to do something, to make something. But I love that. I got the pink now. So I'm excited about that. <laughs> and she also sent me these two Yarn Bee Chloe cakes. It's called Chloe. And they are beautiful and scrumptious. And these are like, what were they, like 70% wool? I know I read it on here somewhere when I was looking, when I got it yesterday. Let's see. Yep, 70% wool, 30 viscose. So now, and I got these two. So thank you so much, Petra. And as always, if y'all don't know, Petra by now. She is very, she is, she writes the most beautiful messages in her cards. And every time I get one, I get so excited and it always touches my heart in such a deep way. She has such a way with words and writing skills and you are so very talented, my dear. She started reading on her channel now and reading her own stories that she has written. If y'all ha hadn't heard her read yet go check that out she is wonderful so thank you my sweet dear my little Petra you'll get your package Friday oh just in case y'all want to see the shirt I'm wearing it's my it's my Margaret Olander sheepishly sharing share what you love from Margaret Olander I love that girl <laughs> so it's April the 23rd y'all Vito the 23rd whatever you want to call it um Last week, I actually won something from this girl. I'm covering up where her phone number is because she probably doesn't want that broadcasted. But I got your number now, girl. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not going to bug you. <laughs> um, Rose, y'all. Rose likes crochet rose. Purple rose. Y'all know her. Um, she, had a, she had a giveaway for her. What was it? 8,000 subscribers, I think. Um, congrats to that. I don't even know where she's at right now. She's probably closer to 10 now, <laughs> knowing her. Um, she's she's doing great, and I love Rose. I love watching her, and and I'm, I'm missing Carrots, her daughter's nickname is Carrots, and she used to be on there all the time, too, and now we're missing her because she's not on the videos anymore, but anyway. Um... We won't go there. Um, I just, I just really like Rose. If she, I think I've said before in another video, she would be the only reason I would ever want to go to Chicago is to hang out with Rose. So I'm not a big city girl, but anyway, um, she had a giveaway for 8,000 subscribers and she picked eight winners. And, um, so she said she was going to send everyone some stitch markers out of her Etsy shop, which I am so excited to get. First, let me just show you. She sent me these two teas, chamomile and linden flowers. Now, I've never heard of linden flowers. Do y'all see that? Linden flower tea. Y'all heard of that? I'm so out of it. Anyway, oh look, Spanish on the back. Te di manzanilla and te, te de tila. <laughs> Did I say that right? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> and 
and a couple of little sweet coffees, uh, coffee candies, tea candy. This one says tea candy. This one says coffee candy. I love those too. I love those kind of things. So here's the stitch markers. Let's see if we can, if I can show them to you like this, because she has them on this beautiful card that really shows them off. Now I can see this bird is backwards. So you see this sweet little bird? And this little ribbon right here says hope on it. Yeah, it says hope. And this is cute little sparkly tassel. And this says, I know I read it already. And now I forgot what it says. Be you. You be you, boo. That's what I always say. You do you, boo. So... Thank you, Rose. They are absolutely beautiful, and I will love them and cherish them. And I may use them, or I may just hang them around for decoration. I need to redo my craft room, and I really want to make like a, um, maybe get like one of those earring trees or something. You know what I mean? Those earring trees, they have to come in all different shapes or character shapes or tree shapes or whatever, where you put your earrings on. And if I could put that on my desk with all my beautiful fancy stitch markers I'm getting from everyone and I could just admire them all the time, it would make me happy. It would make me happy like a room without a roof. <laughs> Thank you, sweet Rose. Okay, so y'all know Jane with Scraptastic Yarns, right? She is a hoot and a half and I love her. But uh, I think it was... I don't know maybe like a month ago she put out a challenge to make a kindness monster and I don't know if she gave everyone a pattern or not because um, the ones I look at on her channel all look pretty similar and I was like that's kind of like the little stuffies I make you know like my little two-legged animals that I make so um, yesterday I was on zoom with the girls and I was working on a pattern on my frog pattern that I really needed to concentrate on more on this one part. And I just um, I just went and grabbed some yarn out of my stash. This, um, let me see if I can find one. Hey, I thought I had another one, but I don't. But it, it, was a, it was like a rainbow colored cake. It wasn't this mandala, it was this. It was a Karen cake. And the colorway was rainbow sprinkles. So I had a partial skein left and um, see these are the colors plus a red that was in it. And that's what I had left out of the cake because as you can see, yes, I color controlled. Um, so I made a little kindness monster. So I wanted me, I want to introduce you to Pedro. Hello, my name Pedro. <laughs> Pedro is so sweet y'all all he wants to do is help let me help you <laughs> he's so sweet he he just walks around telling everybody have a nice day have a nice day <laughs> so that's my kindness monster you see his little green toenails and his little fingernails here his little claw claws and he's got two big buck teeth. And he's got a little heart on his back. Because <laughs> he's sweet. He's really sweet. Do you like his little mohawk? <laughs> so I'm going to take a picture of this and post it on Jane's um, Scraptastic Yarns Facebook page. And show her I finally made my little kindness monster. I think that was, like I was saying, I think it was probably about, I don't know, four, three, four, five, I don't know how long ago she put out that challenge, but it's way been over, but I, I said, you know what, I'm finally going to do it because I think they're adorable. So I got my little friend, his name is Pedro, he could sit right here on my shoulder. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. Adios. Adios. So thanks y'all for sticking around for Joe's web number 52 and uh, be kind and be happy and be blessed 
and I'll see you next time. Bye!